Hey my Cancers, this is Tara Bay here with Flirty Savage Spirit. We're going to get into your next seven days real quick read. Um, and also, just want to let you guys know, I have, you've seen this deck. If you have um, watched my channel before, this is my Flirty Savage Love Oracle deck. It is available on my site at flirtysavage.com. But guess what, you guys? I have a new deck that I just launched, which is the Relationship Oracle, which is these cards. This right here is also available, so go check that out. Information is in the description box. So let's jump into this thing here because it seems like it's juicy we have angry sexual tension trap new perspective and text finally like this is my first like kind of juicy juicy reading for tonight um i do feel even though i do feel like that someone you know their hormones is starting to get to them because there's some sexual tension that's here they, they feel like that they've kind of been trapped um, maybe not being able to release that tension or to release, uh, to have a release of period, right? Um, and it's kind of like making someone a sorry puss here. No pun, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, making someone like a bit angry that, you know, they aren't actually um, getting the sex. And this could be if you're in a relationship, if you're, you know, just kicking it with somebody or if you are single, that's here because it seems like something has went on to like slow down the the movement of the ocean the humping of the ocean um so to speak that's here and and this is like making someone not a playful kitty all these puns i'm using i do not know where they're coming from but you understand what i'm saying but it seems like that's going to change this week like christmas is going to be good to you so if you put wanker or some sex on onto your christmas list for santa it seems like santa's going to deliver because something changes in your perspective towards your sexual energy and towards your trappedness because of a text that comes through so someone's going to be receiving some communication um, from somebody that's going to be like "Ooh." I can feel that tension from over here. Let me help you out with that. Um, it could also mean that, you know, if you're in a relationship or you're kicking it with somebody, someone's texting you saying that they've had a change in perspective or for some type of conversation to go down about, you know, where you guys' relationship stand or you just basically coming out telling them that you want more sex and you're not understanding, like, why aren't you getting the sex from them? Hmm. So, Cancer, show us some more about this sexual tension and this new perspective and stuff. Show us more, Cancers. Show us more for my Cancers here. So, we have Scorpio energy here with this death that's being in reverse. So, um, it's not over. Resisting the change. The Nine of Cups, which is the sex card, which is give me what I came here for. Oh, the Leo card is with the strength, which is definitely a lot of passion, taming of the beast. Okay. Four of Swords is in reverse. You're no longer resting and waiting and, and laying by yourself. Shit is about to get real. Woo! God, Gemini. Ooh, ooh, this is Gemini's energy with this lover's card, Cancer. Whew. Can you say hot? Are you getting hot? Because I'm getting hot. <laughs> There's definitely love in your forecast. And when I say love, I'm talking about deep, passionate, repeated. Someone took some pills to be able to, you know, keep that thing going. <laughs> just It just won't die down <laughs> with this death in reverse here. This is death in reverse. So, you know, it just won't die down. Like they are, they're going to give it to you nine times or you're going to get it nine times this week or something. Like very, very, very passionate uh, type of situation. Like waking up the neighbors. The neighbors know my name because this love union that's here. Whew, you see all that nakedness that's going down right here. And especially with that strength card, that means somebody is coming in long and strong, honey. Uh, yeah, somebody is, is really taming the beast. It's like, you know, whatever's been trapped up, up in somebody with this sexual tension is going to be all released within these next seven days, Cancer. This is, oh, I hope this is my fortune, honey. Let's see what other info we got here. Marriage Bay missing in action i feel like that that's what they have been it's missing in action 
Um, I feel like that this, 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 oh my God, it's toxic. It's going to be more about, um, you know, how it all ends up going down. Uh, that's here for me. Cause I feel like, you know, them not communicating properly is kind of like this, this trapped kind of thing. And that's probably also why you are angry because you, you haven't really been able to talk to them if you're not like living with the person, like if you guys aren't in uh, a relationship but even if you are they could be missing in action like communication wise or they're there with you but they're not really present with you if that makes sense you know um like just seem like that this person just may have been off in their own world doing their own like little thing um but it definitely seems like some some unions that's going down here whether or not someone is you know clearing the air in order to pop the, the question for somebody or this is you know specifically talking to those who are married um or you connecting with this person can lead to marriage so show me more about this new perspective in this text messages coming through Yeah, Eight of Cups coming back, Five of Swords, communication, bully, emptying out. That's that angry that's here, coming back to work on things um, as well. We have Pisces up under the deck with the moon. So definitely a return of someone that had emotionally kind of like checked out here. Um, they, they checked out in order to go and resolve something on their own or either maybe you checked out from this person whatever it was or maybe this person has been gone away because they um they travel for work um they've been off doing their own thing like working on something and it's kind of like just making you angry because it's like they alienated you a little bit or they shut you out and that's why they've been missing action like I don't feel like that they were missing action for any true toxic toxic reasons it just seems like it's toxic because they chose to deal with it on, on their own with and just leaving you out to kind of guess what was going on with them versus just communicating properly and just say what it actually is that they were dealing with. But it seems like that they're coming back to make this thing up to you, honey. Honey, let me tell y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to leave this good sex right here um, on the table for you guys. Uh, if you haven't already, I hope you subscribe to my channel. I would love you a long time. And don't forget to go check out my Oracle decks at flirtysavage.com. Info in the description box.